everyone! Welcome to 601 Travels. Today we're going to talk all about the things you could ever want to know about Knoxville, Tennessee. So before we get started, make sure you hit that like button, click that subscribe button, and watch our other content for even more mind-blowing information you'll probably disagree about, even though it's supported by statistics. In the meantime, let's go! Knoxville is a city located in beautiful and picturesque Northeast Tennessee in what is known as the Tennessee Valley. It's situated between the Great Smoky Mountains and the Cumberland Plateau. The Tennessee River goes right through the downtown area and shapes what the city is literally. Founded in 1791, it is the largest city in Eastern Tennessee and is home to over 192,000 residents. Aside from being called Knoxville, visitors and people who spend their days there have plenty of nicknames for this city. It's also known as the Marble City, Heart of the Valley, Queen City of the Mountains, K-Town, K-Sizzle, Scruffy City, Gateway to the Smoky Mountains, Knox Vegas, Lil Noxie, Knox Pox, and the K-Ville. Any of these would be socially acceptable, however. On a serious note, there is a lot going on here. Knoxville was actually named among the top 10 fastest growing U.S. cities. It's also ranked as one of America's most romantic cities. So, whether you're married, single, looking, or recently divorced, love is in the air. Speaking of things in the air, while you're there, it's hard to miss the big gold sun looking structure amongst the skyline. That is the Sun Sphere which was built for the 1982 World's Fair, and you can actually go inside and up to the top for great views of the city. A pretty cool little piece of history that you can visit. But visiting is one thing, and living there is another. Compared to other markets, houses in Knoxville are very cheap and affordable. The median sales price is just at $305,000 and are on the market for an average of about 39 days. They sell pretty quick and it's definitely a seller's market. Buyers usually look at many houses before their offers are accepted over investors and contingency free offers. The median price of $305,000 is not throughout the whole city. Some houses are cheaper, but many are much more expensive and can easily get over half a million dollars. Many residents, especially college students, decide to rent instead. There are over 8,300 rental units in the city and the average rent for an apartment is $1,600. Some more, some less. Throughout the city, you'll find a wide variety of things to do to keep busy. Of course, the Great Smoky Mountains, Gatlinburg, and Pigeon Forge are close enough to visit for a few hours without going too far out of your way. But there's plenty to do in town. As noted before, the World's Fair Park is a great spot that has the Sun Sphere and is visited by many people each year for concerts, festivals, and splash pads. iJames Nature Center is over 300 acres that has areas for rock climbing, 10 miles of trails, kayaking, paddleboarding, and is home to many types of wildlife. If you're into zoos, they've got you covered. Zoo Knoxville has more than 700 animals within its 53 acres. You can feed giraffes, ride the train, or even go on a camel ride. The Knoxville Museum of Art is a free attraction that's a popular destination, as is the Blount Mansion and the Knoxville Botanical Garden and Arbitrium. The downtown area is also vibrant and thriving with many great restaurants and great food and music. Hold up though, entertainment and food isn't the only thing you'll find in Knoxville. While there are safe spots in the city, there is a big problem with crime. According to reliable statistics, the violent crime rate is in fact 114% higher than the national average and you'll have a 1 in 21 chance of getting the business. While Knoxville is 4% safer than the rest of the cities in the United States, you need to be cautious and careful when getting around. The good news is that year after year, crime in Knoxville has decreased by 3%. What does that mean? Well, it means that the crime might be declining ever so lately. If you're venturing downtown, take a friend. If you don't have any friends, make some before you go out and explore. 
You might have heard about all the money you can make in Knoxville, and that's what got you interested in the Marble City. It's true, there is a lot of great companies here. Regal Cinemas, Pilot Flying J, University of Tennessee, HGTV, The Cooking Channel, Dillard's, Kimberly Clark, US Foods, Discover, all there. Chances are you might get a great paying job with one of them. Stats tell us that the median person in Knoxville is making about 34 grand and that over 26% of the residents are living in poverty conditions. 4.7% of the population is unemployed, which is 76% higher than the national average. The income per capita there is actually 23% lower than the national average. So while there are some jobs available, you need to make sure you will qualify to fill them. Speaking of making it, if you have children and you want them to make it, you should probably homeschool. Knoxville has 75 public schools and 37 private schools. Not every one of them are bad, not every one of them are good either. The city ranks an F when it comes to education. Test scores revealed that the students come in 29% lower than the national average and only 83% of residents have completed high school. Depending on how much you care and love your children or how much therapy you're prepared to sit with them through in the future, public schools might be fine. Otherwise, consider teaching them yourself. With that being said, what conclusion can we come up with about Knoxville, Tennessee? Well, it appears that the city is located in a great place for those who love and enjoy outdoor activities. It's still small enough to not be overbearing like other metros in the area. It's also affordable enough for average people to pay for rent or a mortgage and get some decent housing. There are definitely worse places you could be trying to make it in Tennessee, like Memphis. All right, everyone, now you know what's up in Knoxville, Tennessee. Is it everything you thought it was gonna be? Make sure you comment below if you live there or have ever visited and got out to talk about it. Where am I going next? Make sure you hit that subscribe button to find out. Until next time, bye y'all.